Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at the OEM install process of Linux Mint 21.2. Now, I've already captured the image, I've deployed it out to the virtual machine, and this is what you would see if you were turning on a brand new Linux Mint machine. So this is equivalent for uh, Windows users of the out-of-box experience that you see in Windows. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are. The first screen that comes up is language. And for me, I'm going to choose English. And keyboard layout, we're going to accept the defaults. Time zone is correct. And fill out your account information. And continue. And it's going to go through the rest of the process in an expedited manner. And we will be able to start using Linux Mint. Now, when would a normal person use this? Well, this is useful if you are repurposing a computer for somebody else and you want to give them that out of box new computer experience. Or, for instance, if you were selling a computer on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or what have you, you don't want to have to provide the user with a username and password. You want to let them have the opportunity to set that up themselves. So the other thing is that if you want to do this for your own machine, you can pre-install software and then have that ready and just need to be updated when you deploy it. So those are a few examples of when you might use this. And in another moment or two, this will be done and we can take a look around and you can see what I pre-installed. So we'll go ahead and log in. And of course you get the first run wizard. We're just going to turn this off, but it has your first steps uh, for backups and update manager and the like, documentation, help, and ways you can contribute. So very bare desktop, but what have I installed that's not included in a normal Linux Mint install off the ISO? Well. First, I've done updates. Uh, second, I've got Google Chrome loaded on here. I've got GIMP loaded on here. And I have also got Monarca Backup loaded on here. All these are installed and ready to go. And I wouldn't have to worry about installing them after the fact, which is just going to save me time, right? So. Like I said, we've got a few pieces of software installed and it's ready to start using. So depending on how seasoned you are using Linux, one of the first things I like to do is open up a terminal and change to the root user and see if it displays asterisks. And it does not. That was one of the other changes I made because that is one of my largest complaints about Linux Mint is the fact that it displays by default asterisks in the terminal when you go to enter a password. So we can also run updates. And we shouldn't have too many updates to go, but I will come back when this is done. All right, our updates have concluded and we are ready to go on using our Mint system. So of course you can load up Chrome. I'm a Firefox user myself, but hey, 
no harm, no foul. There are still a few things that Chrome works better for. And here we go. We can open up my YouTube homepage. All right. That will bring us to the end of another video. And hopefully you got something out of this. I'm doing something a little bit different this time around. I am going to make a version of this OEM install available for download. And I'm going to limit it to the first 15 downloads. So if you want to take this and try it out, you'll be able to find a link in the description and the first 15 people will be able to download that. And after that, uh, I will reevaluate and see if there is more interest. So until next time, please do what you do down below the video. You can always contact me through the comments. You can go to the about page on the YouTube channel and get my email address that way. And feel free to drop me a line and let me know if there's something in particular you are looking to see on this channel. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a great day.